Right, we start with lesson 9 M5.2, circle geometry. Right, cyclic quadrilateral theorems we're going to deal with today. So ABC, D is a cyclic quadrilateral because A, B, C and D lie on the circumference of a circle. Right, so therefore A, B, C and D um, will be referred to as a cyclic quadrilateral and this is applicable to any four points that lay on the circumference of a circle. The word cyclic quadril uh, quadrilateral is often written as cyclic quad only. So when we look at theorem 5, the opposite angles of a cyclic um, quad are supplementary. In other words, when we add them together, we get 180 degrees. So the angles add up to 180 degrees. Therefore, angle A plus angle C equals 80 deg 180 degrees and angle B plus angle D equals 180 degrees. Right. So for interest sake, we are going to work through the proof of this theorem but it's not necessary to learn this. So prove that in cyclic quads A, B, C, D, A, angle A plus angle C equals 180 degrees. So the proof then thereof, this just for interest sake, uh, construct, in other words, join OD and OB, uh, where O is the center of the circle. So in other words, then, Angle O1 equals 2 of angle A. Um, angle at the center equals 2 times the angle at the circumference. Right, and right. And then, in other words, the following, angle O2, this one over here, and two times angle C, because angle at the center equals two times the angle at the circumference. But angle O1 plus angle O2 equals 360 degrees because it's a revolution. Therefore, angle 2A plus angle 2B Angle 2A plus 2B equals 360. Thus, angle, 2 times angle A plus angle B equals 360. Therefore, angle A plus angle B. And I uh, think they meant over here, it should be C. So just correct that. Just correct that. It's just an error on our side. Angle A plus angle C equals 180 degrees, not B. So we apologize for that error. Right, so the converse, uh, converse theorem of Pythagoras. Right. Let me just see what color I used. Okay, green. Let's stick to our color codes. If the opposite angles of a quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees, then it will be possible to draw a circle around the four points of the quadrilateral so that all the so that all four points on the circumference of the circle. So that okay. So let me just read that again. If the opposite angles of a quadrilateral, uh, quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees, then it will be possible to draw a circle around the four points of the quad so that all four points lie on the circumference of that circle. So the quadrilateral will be a cyclic quadrilateral. So we also say that the four points are cyclic. So we're going to envy that. So this is something that you're going to use quite often with uh, circle geometry. So uh, example one, it's sort of nice and easy examples. So 
calculate the sizes of x and y. So in other words, x uh, lies opposite q. So in other words, 180 degrees minus 110 degrees will give me 70 degrees. Opposite angles of cyclic quad, P, Q, or S are supplementary. Right, and then Y equals 100 because 100 degrees minus the 80 degrees but sorry, because 180 degrees minus the 80 degrees gives me the 100 degrees there. I'm just going to write it quickly over there. So you say 180 minus the 80 gives me the 100 there. We color that yellow. And most important, the reason opposite angles of cyclic quad PQRS are supplementary. Then example two, O is the center of the circle. In other words, you have a radius here and you have a radius there. Calculate the values of X and Y. So we're going to start with X. Let's just use a lighter color. Right, this angle equals angle D1. In other words, we're going to say 180 degrees minus 70 degrees divided by 2 gives you 55 degrees. So this angle will be 55 degrees and that angle will be 55 degrees. And it will be equal angles opposite equal sides because this is radius OD equals radius OC. And then the sum of the interior angles of a triangle adds up to 180 degrees. So 70 plus 55 plus 55 degrees gives me 180 degrees. Right. Now we're going to determine angle C. In other words, if you look at it closely, you will see 35 degrees plus 55 degrees gives me 90 degrees. Right, so angle Y will also be equal to 90 degrees because opposite angles of a cyclic quad A, B, C, D are supplementary. All right, then you're going to do exercise one with me. Determine the values of A to F, right? So we're going to start with A. Right, so for A, we're going to say 180 degrees minus 65. It gives me 115. There you have 115 degrees plus 65 gives you 180. The most important, the reason. Let me write it just right on the memo. Small a equals 115 degrees opposite angles of a cyclic quad A, B, C, D or supplementary. So please remember to name the cyclic quad you're referring to. Then angle B equals also 90 degrees because they are supplementary. Opposite angles of cyclic quad A, B, C, D are supplementary. In 1.2, C in other words here, will be 180 degrees minus that 77 degrees, which gives us 103 degrees. Opposite angles of cyclic quad M in RQ or supplementary. Then we're going to look at small d over here. Equals angle M in Q, M in Q. In other words, this angle over here because of MQ being equal to MN. So 180 degrees minus 77 degrees 
um, divided by 2 gives us 51,5, 51,5 degrees. Sum of the interior angles of a triangle adds up to 180 degrees. So this gives us 103 plus 77 gives us 180. So just correct over here, angle M in Q equals angle D. So actually it uh, should have said angle M Q N. Let's just correct that. Right, 1.3, right, we're going to determine E, so we're going to say 5E plus 4E gives me 9E, 9E equals 180 degrees, opposite angles of a cyclic quad C, D, E, F are supplementary, so 9 uh, 180 divided by 9 gives me 20 degrees. So here we have 80 degrees, there we have 100 degrees. So 100 degrees plus 80 degrees gives me 180 degrees. Right, then F plus 3E needs to add up to 180 degrees. Uh, opposite angles of cyclic quad C, D, E, F are supplementary. So F plus 3 times 20 gives me 60, so F plus 60 gives me 180, therefore angle F equals, sorry I'm at the wrong side now, this one adds up to 120 degrees, this one 60 degrees, This one, 80. This one, 100. All right, then let's look at question two. Determine if quad quadrilateral ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral, so when we add opposite uh, angles of the quad then they need to be supplementary. So when we say angle A plus C, angle A 68 plus angle C 111, then I get to 179. So it doesn't add up to 180. And when I add 148 to, uh, to 33 degrees, then I get to 181, so therefore it's not equal to 180, therefore ABCD is not a cyclic quadrilateral, opposite angles are not supplementary, so that's your reason. Then we move on, theorem 6, the exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the opposite interior angle, right, so angle C1 equals angle A, then the proof, it's not for examination purposes, angle A plus angle C2, in other words this angle and angle C2 equals 180 degrees, opposite angles of a cyclic quad ABCD are supplementary, but angle C1 plus C2 also adds up to 180 degrees due to the straight line CDP. Therefore, angle A and angle P1, uh, therefore angle A and angle C1 um, are the same size. In the converse theorem 6, 
if the exterior angle of a quadrilateral is equal to the opposite interior angle, then the quadrilateral will be a cyclic quadrilateral. So we say the four points are concyclic. Therefore, they are concyclic. So, in other words, if the exterior angle over here of an equilateral um, is equal to the opposite interior angle, then the quadrilateral will be cyclic. In other words, then it all the angles will be on the circumference of a circle. So calculate the values of A and B. Right, A equals 66. Small a equals 66 degrees. Exterior angle of cyclic quad A, B, C, D. Right, and then angle B equals 72 degrees, exterior angle of cyclic quad A, B, C, D. Then example four, calculate the values of X, Y, and Z. Right, so x plus 41 degrees gives me 64 degrees. In other words, it gives me the same as that one there. So these two gives me 64 degrees. Exterior angle of cyclic quad TRSU, remember to mention the name of the cyclic quad. Therefore, X equals 23 degrees. Right. Then also Y plus 23 degrees gives me 75 degrees. Exterior angle of cyclic white TRS. Let's make them the same color. Right, so Y plus 23 degrees gives me 75 degrees. Let me just color that. Therefore, y equals 52 degrees. Exterior angle of cyclic quad TR is u. So therefore, angle R u is this one over here. And R T is R T is. This one over here equals 41 degrees. So let's write our 41 degrees over here.
angles uh, subtended by chord R S. There's your chord R S in same circle segment. So then, in other words, T U R that angle equals 180 degrees minus 75 degrees minus 41 degrees which will then give you 64 degrees so 180 degrees minus 75 degrees minus 41 degrees gives you 64 degrees straight line US And that brings us to angle P, which is 180 minus the 64. In other words, this one over here, which is opposite this angle over here. So 180 minus the 64 gives us 116. And the same quad lateral cyclic quad right summary the opposite angles of a cyclic quad are supplementary the exterior angle of a cyclic quad is equal to the opposite interior angle and for ABCD to be cyclic quadrilateral the following angle a1 plus a, uh, plus A2 plus angle C1 plus C2 equals 180 degrees. Okay, let's just highlight that. Angle B1 plus B2 plus angle D1 plus D2 equals 180 degrees. Angle C3, this one over here, plus angle A1 and 2 or equal to one another, so C3 equals angle A1 plus 2. Angle A1 equals angle D2, D2BC. Let's pick another color. Angle B1 equals angle C2 AD due to AD right and B2 and A2 they equal and D1 and C1. Right, that brings us to exercise two. You're going to work it out now. So press pause on your screen, give yourself between 15, uh, um, yeah, give yourself between 10 and 15 minutes to do number one, two, three, and four. So press pause now, work it out, and then you press play after 10 to 15 minutes. Right, we're going to mark now exercise two. So determine with reasons the values of X and Y. Right, so X equals 72 degrees straight line EF so 180 minus 108 degrees gives you 72 degrees then X equals Y which is also then 72 degrees exterior angle of cyclic quad EF GH Right, 
both these two angles are each 52 degrees with the reason the exterior angle of the cyclic quad ABCD and BD bisects angle ABC. It's referred to over here. And also angle X equals 180 degrees minus 52 degrees minus 25 degrees gives you 103 degrees because the interior angles of a triangle adds up to 180 degrees. Right, and then we look at Y. So we say 180 degrees minus 103 degrees gives us 77 degrees. Opposite angles of cyclic quad ABCD are supplementary. Right over here, we're going to determine Y. So we're going to say two this 2y plus 2y plus y gives us 5y equals 180 degrees sum of interior angles of triangle ACE. So let's just color triangle ACE. Therefore, y equals 36 degrees. And 2y will therefore be 72 degrees. Right, so X, therefore now, over here equals 180 minus 72. Therefore, it will be 108 degrees. Due to opposite angles of cyclic quad ABCE or supplementary. Then number four, A. Prove that points A, B, C and D are concyclic. Right, so we will start off by saying angle B, A, E, this angle over here, equals 49 degrees exterior angle of triangle A, B, E. 82, uh, in other words, minus 33 gives us 49 degrees. Right, so that's how we got to that one over there. So this is the exterior angle of triangle ABE. So you have to add 49 degrees and 33 degrees and you get 82. But you didn't know that this one was 49 initially. So you said 82 degrees minus 33 degrees gives me 49 degrees. Therefore, we're going to say at angle BAE equals angle DCB. DCB. Right, so this one is 49 degrees, that one is 49 degrees, so therefore A, B, C and D is a cyclic quad, in other words the points are concyclic, exterior angle is equal to the opposite interior angle, and that's what we have over here. And then B, angle ADB. This angle over here equals 30 degrees straight line, so it's 180 degrees minus the 150 equals the 30 degrees. Then angle ACB, ACB, in other words, this angle over here also equals 30 degrees.
exterior angle of triangle BEC, BEC. Right, so therefore ADB equals ACB, so this angle equals that angle. Both angles are subtended by the chord AB. Thus, try, uh, this ABCD is a cyclic quad. In other words, concyclic. Right, then we're going to look at tangent theorems. Let me just quickly do something. Right, a tangent to a circle touches the circle at one point. The point, point B, so theorem 7, a tangent to a circle is perpendicular to the radius at the point of intersection. Right. O is the center of the circle and AB is the tangent. So therefore, angle B1 equals 90 degrees, tangent ABC is perpendicular to radius OB. Then we look at the converse of theorem 7, a line through a point on a circle perpendicular to the radius will be a tangent to the circle. If angle B1 equals 90, then ABP is a tangent to the circle. Theorem 8. Two tangents that are drawn from the same point outside a circle are equal in length. In other words, this one is equal to that one in length. AB equals BP, tangent drawn from, from the same point. Then example five, we're going to do. Important information, O is the center of the circle and AP is a tangent. So they you have a radius, radius, tangent. 90 degrees. 92 degrees. Right, determine the size of x, y, and z. Right, so in other words, x equals 90 degrees minus 38 degrees, which gives you 52 degrees. Tangent AP is perpendicular to radius OA. Then y, angle y equals 90 degrees. So we can make it a 90 degree symbol there. Angle in semicircle, because they mentioned this is a, a midline with this. O is the center of the circle. Right, and then Z. equals 52 degrees. How did we get to that? You say 180 degrees minus 38 degrees minus 90 degrees gives you 52 degrees. The sum of the interior angles for triangle ABC. Right then, example six, O is the center. So you have your radius there, you have your radius there. 
AP and BP are two tangents to the circle drawn from point P. Now you need to calculate the values of X, Y, and Z. Right, so firstly we're going to say that angle PAB, PAB, this angle in other words equals angle ABP, this angle, so this one also is equal to X, therefore equal angles opposite e, um, opposite sides, equal angles opposite e, equal sides, uh, in other words AP equals PB tangent drawn from the same line, so in other words this tells us that this angle equals that angle, right? So this one is then also X, and we mentioned it there, right? Then we're going to say 180 minus 70 degrees divided by 2 gives you 55 degrees, gives you 55 degrees, because the interior angles of a triangle, the sum of the interior angles of a triangle APB equals 180 degrees. Then we're going to look at angle Y. So this angle equals 35 degrees because tangent PB is perpendicular to OB. So you have a 90 degree there, minus 55 gives you the 35 there. Right, and then let's use a black angle OAB, OAB, this angle over here, equals angle Y, which is equal to 35 degrees. Also, equal angles opposite equal sides, OA equals OB. Both of them are radii of the circle. Therefore, angle OAB, this angle over here, equals 110 degrees to sum of the interior angles of triangle OAB. Then angle Z will then be half of that. In other words, it will be 55 degrees. This one over here is 110. And the reason for that is angle at the center is two times the angle at the circumference. Then B, let's read Y is AOBP, a cyclic quadrilateral. Right, so then the only thing it can be when you add these two you need to get 180 they need to be supplementary so 70 plus 110 gives you 180 right and 90 degrees plus 90 degrees gives you 180 so a so oap angle oap equals angle opb equals 90 tangent is perpendicular to radii Therefore, OAPB is a cyclic quadrilateral, opposite angles are supplementary. So these two reasons. Right, then you're going to do exercise three, number one, two, three. Right, so give yourself 10 minutes for that. So press pause, work it out, and then you press play again. Right, in each of uh, case, um, in each case, O is the center of the circle. So you have your radius there, radius there. So let's just do it on this one over here. Radius, radius, AT is a tangent. Determine sizes of the angles marked A, B, and C. Right, so uh, small angle A. This one over here 
equals 55 degrees because you say 145 minus 90 degrees because tangent A is perpendicular to radius OA. Then angle B is 90 degrees. Angle in semicircle. And then C equals 35 degrees. And how did you get that? You say 180 minus 55 degrees minus 90 degrees gives you 35 degrees. The sum of the interior angles of triangle ABC adds up to 180 degrees. The number two radius, radius, and your tangent perpendicular, right, this angle is equal to that one, that angle is equal to that one, right, so angle OA Q is equal to angle OQA. In other words, each one is equal to 180 minus 20 divided by 2, which gives you 30 degrees. 30 degrees. Reason OA equals OC. Both of them are radii equals equal angles, equal opposite sides. Then we look at B, angle B. Therefore, will be 90 degrees minus the 30 degrees. Therefore, it will be 60 degrees. Tangent AT is perpendicular to radius OA. And angle C, this one over here, equals a half times 120 degrees, equals 60. In other words, it is half the size as this um, uh, angle at the circumference because the angle at the center is two times the angle at the, uh, the angle of the center is two times the size as the angle of the circumference. So this one will be 60 then. Right, then we look at number three. AT and BT are tangents to the circle. Right, so let's start quickly. Small angle A. Equals 90 degrees. Minus the 22 degrees, in other words, this angle over here gives you 68 degrees. Tangent AT is perpendicular to radius OA. Angle ABT, in other words, angle small a is equal to 68 degrees. AT equals BT, tangents from same point T equals angles opposite equal sides. So this angle and this angle will both be 68. Right, then we go to angle B. This one over here equals 180 minus 2 times 68, which then gives you 44 degrees. The sum of the interior angles of a triangle ABT equals 180 degrees. Then angle OBA, OBA equals angle OAB, which is 22 degrees due to the radius OB being equal to the radius OA. Equal angles, opposite equal sides. And then angle BOE 
V O. You just quickly find B O A. Right, this angle will be 180 minus 22 minus 22. In other words, 180 minus 44 gives us 136. In other words, it's 136 degrees. Sum of the interior angles of triangle AOB equals 180 degrees, and then Angle C will be half of the size. So the angle at the circumference is half the size of the angle of, at the center. So the angle at the center is two times the size of the angle at the circumference, which is then 68 degrees. Right, then we have another theorem, 9. It's not for examinational purposes. So in the ang um, angle formed between a tangent and the chord drawn from the point of intersection is equal to the angle of the subtended by the chord in the opposite circle segment, as seen over here. So the angle subtended by the chord CB in the opposite circle segment. So angle A equals angle BCT, so tangent CT and chord CB. Then there are other possibilities such as here, angles obtained by chord, chord one and chord two. So note you may use theorem nine in tests, tutorials and exams, but no solution to problems will depend depend on the use of theorem 9. So then we have example 7. It's only for enrichment, so let's make it the same color as the previous. So calculate the size of angles mark X, Y and A. Right, so angle X therefore will be equal to 50. Tangent AT AT and chord AB. Then it will also be equal to Y. Alternate angles. Line CB is parallel to line DA. Right, and then we look at B. This angle over here equals 70 degrees tangent AT and chord BE. That chord over there, tangent AT and chord BE. Then X, this one over here, equals 68 degrees tangent AT and chord BD. This one over here. So then y equals 180 minus x, which gives you 68. x equals 68, so 180 minus 68 gives you a 112 degrees. Opposite angles of cyclic quad BCDE are supplementary. And please remember, in order to, to be able to say this you need to it needs to be mentioned that ABT is a tangent so this is extremely important so therefore I'm going to just NB it otherwise you are not allowed to use this as a reason otherwise you first have to prove it right so NB for that I have to mention that that's why you also see it over here because they used it over here. In C, once again, important DCP. Is a tangent. O is the center of the circle. 
So in other words, you have your radius here and your radius there. So this angle over here, angle X equals 66, tangent PCD and chord BC. This chord over here, chord, uh, let's make tangent and chord BC. Right, and then y over here. This one also equals 66 degrees. Of course, angles obtained by chord BC in the same circle segment. In other words, over here, chord BC, therefore these two angles are the same size. Same circles segment, the chord there, BC. Then angle BCE over here equals 90 degrees, angle in the semicircle, and E angle ECD, ECD equals. 180 minus 66 minus 90 gives us 24 degrees. A straight line PCD. And then Y, that one over there, Y is equal to small a plus ECD small a plus e c d right reason being exterior angle of triangle e c d so this small y is equal to angle e c d plus angle a because it's the exterior angle of angle e c d so therefore, A equals 42. And you can test it again by saying 42 plus 24 must give you 66. And it does. So angle BEC is the exterior angle of triangle DCE. Therefore, the opposite interior angles, angle small a and angle d, c, e. The sum of them gives us angle b, e, c. Then you have a summary with reasons which you can print out and put up against your wall so that you can look at them daily. And then we're going to start with the homework, number one, two, and three, as well as number four, I want you to do. So give yourself between 15 and 20 minutes in which to complete it. So you're going to press pause now, work it out, and then you're going to press play again. Right, we're going to start in the sketch O is the center of the circle, so you have your radius D and radius D. So let's just draw it over here. Determine the sizes of the angles marked X, Y, and Z. Right. First of all, we're going to say that this angle O, C, B equals also 40 degrees. Of course, OC equals OB, both of them are radii, equal angles opposite equal sides. Then to determine X, we're going to say 180 minus 
80 degrees divided by 2 gives us 100. Okay, so I'm just going to write it on the inside. Let's do it the proper way. Right, sum of the interior angles of triangle BOC. Then angle Y will be 50 degrees. Angle at the center is 2 times the angle at the circumference. And you write Y equals half times 100 degrees, which gives you 50 degrees. Then angle ABC is equal to angle ACB. This angle is equal to this angle over here. AB equals AC equal angles opposite equal sides. Therefore, in order to determine um, ABC and ACB, you're going to 180 minus the 50 divided by 2 gives us 65. So if you add 65 plus 65 plus 50 gives you 180 degrees again. So sum of the interior angles of triangle ABC adds up to 180. Then Z over here. In other words, you have 180 minus 65 will give you Z. And that will be 115. degrees, reason being opposite angles of cyclic what? A, B, C, D are supplementary. Then number two, A, P and S, P are tangents. O is the center of the circle. So if your radius there as well as your radius there, 90 degrees over here as well as there. Right, so we're going to start off by saying angle AOB. AOB equals 60. This angle equals 60. That angle equals also 60. Interior angles of the equilateral triangle AOB. Therefore, angle X over here will be 124 minus 60 gives us 64 degrees. Then Y, angle Y over here. One over there will then be a half of 64 degrees, which will be 32 degrees. Angle at the center is equal to 2 times the angle at the circumference. Then angle OAP, OA. P this angle over here equals 90 degrees tangent AP is perpendicular to OA which we drew here with the red 90 degree angles therefore angle A uh, RAP RAP this one over here will therefore be 90 degrees minus 32. Oh, sorry, 90 degrees minus 60. Oh, yes, <clears throat> 90 degrees minus 60, which will give you 
that small triangle there will give you 30 degrees. Right, because angle OAB equals 60 degrees, interior angle of equilateral triangle AOB, and then Z, this angle over here, is going to be 30 degrees plus 56 degrees, it's the exterior angle of triangle ARB. Let's just quickly color it. So this one is the exterior angle of angle ARP. In other words, 30 plus 56 gives us 86 degrees, which is true. Why is AOSP is cyclic quadrilateral, then you can say angle AOS plus APS equals 180, therefore angle AOSP is a cyclic quad, opposite angles are supplementary. See why is OBRS not a cyclic quadrilateral, then you can say X plus angle X plus Z, in other words, these two angles, when you add them together, you do not get 180 degrees, you get 150 degrees. Therefore, OBRS is not a cyclic quad. Opposite angles are not supplementary. Then number three, in the accompanying sketch, BD by six angle ABC, therefore DE equals DC. Okay, just color it over here. Right. We're going to start them off by using the gray. So we're going to say angle ADB. This angle equals angle ACB. one those two you can color then you say angles subtended by chord a b in the same circle segment then we go for green the angle dbc this angle over here is equal to angle a db Alternate angles, here you have your parallel lines, AD and BC. And then you say for the blue angle ABD, ABD, this angle is equal to angle DBC, this one over here, given BD by six angle ABC. That's what the two dots indicate there. And then for the host one in red, a angle DCA, DCA, this angle over here is equal to angle ABD, this one over here, that one over there, um, angles obtained by chord AD over here in the same circle segment. And then black, angle CAD, CAD, is equal to angle CBD. These two are equal to one another due to chord DC subtended and in the same circle segment. 
then I ask you express um, angle EDC in terms of X, then you can just say angle EDC is equal to angle ABC, which is equal to 2X, exterior angle of cyclic quad A, B, C, D. Right, and then prove that angle BAD is equal to angle CDA. Equal to BDC. Right. And what you're going to write there is angle subtended by chord BC in the same circle segment. Therefore, angle BAD equals X plus Y. Which is equal to angle ADC. ADC. Determine angle E in terms of X, angle E, let's see where's angle E, this angle over here. So you need to determine uh, angle E in terms of X, so we say that angle E is equal to angle DCE. It's equal to this angle over here, due to DC being equal to DE. Right, e uh, equal angles, opposite equal sides, and then they ask you to determine, we, we're still busy there, so we determine that they are the same size, now, now we just want to give them an actual uh, value in degrees, the size, so we say 180 minus 2x, 180 minus 2x equals, divided by 2 gives you 90 degrees minus x. Right. Some of the interior angles of triangle CD, that will be your reason there. Now let's get to question four. Question four, we're going to look at quickly in the sketch O is the center of the circle. So these two are two ready. Calculate the size of angle A. In other words, this angle over here. So we're going to say 180 minus 26, 126 degrees because these two, these two um, will be opposite angle for angles of a cyclic quad of ABCF, of quad ABCF, so they will be supplementary, therefore angle A will be equal to 54 degrees. So you write your 54 degrees there, then set up an equation and determine the value of X, so then you will say 3X plus 5X plus 2X equals 10X, so 10x equals 180 degrees, um, therefore x will be 18, the sum of the interior angles of triangle FED adds up to 180 degrees and hence prove that AB is parallel to FD. We have to prove that these two lines are parallel, so you're going to say that angle DFE equals 3x which equals 3 times 18 degrees, we determine the value of x, which gives you 54 degrees. 
So in other words, this is equal to 54 degrees. Right? Therefore, angle A also equals 54 degrees. But they are corresponding angles. AB, therefore, is parallel to FD. So you have your corresponding angles there. So um, you have your cyclic quad over here. So 180 minus 126 gives you 54. And these uh, 3 times 18 gives you also 54. So therefore you have uh, corresponding angles there. And this one you already proved in the beginning by saying that this is a opposite angles of a cyclic quad A, B, C, F. Right, guys, go through um, today's lesson, especially the summary, and make sure that you um, understand each theorem. Thank you.